There are just some women who have this hotness, this aura around them that is super attractive to both men and women, and it's usually not their physical appearance. Well, I'm here to share with you the number one way to get hotter, and that is self-care. Self-care is the one thing that every woman can do to increase her magnetism, to magnify her beauty, inner mostly, but also outer, because it will go hand in hand and will enhance how you feel and therefore will raise your vibration and bring you better things in life in general, including men. So what makes you more attractive rather than less attractive? Well, when we are worn out, we are overworked, we're undervalued by ourselves, then we start feeling hardened, we start feeling harsh. And this is where, you know, a hardened woman who is too much in her masculine and isn't balanced with her feminine and actually is craving the feminine but doesn't make time for that part of her is really coming across to the world as this harsh chip on her shoulder, um, achiever type of woman. And she can be the most magnificently beautiful physically that you've ever seen. And there's just something about her that's off, that's harsh. I know you've seen this before. It's especially relevant in Hollywood where, you know, there might be a gorgeous woman, but she's really harsh and really, um, uh, I want to say like her edges are not soft. Now there are other women in Hollywood. Uh, Meryl Streep comes to mind. She's an older woman. And yes, she's physically beautiful and she was, you know, throughout her career, but she exudes femininity. She has that sparkle, that, that je ne sais quoi, that luxury feeling of really knowing who she is and taking care of herself. Marilyn Monroe had this as well. And she was this luxurious, exuding beauty that was very secure in herself and it was clear that she knew how to take care of herself. So self-care is the number one ingredient to being hot. And that goes for dating and it goes for being in a relationship. It is actually harder to do self-care when you're in a relationship than it is when you are dating. Why? Because you get distracted by having fun in the relationship and you kind of put your own needs to the wayside because The relationship is, you know, is there. I mean, you you have to tend to your relationship. You have to tend to your job. You have to tend to your kids and your pets and your household. So that doesn't really leave a lot of room for extra time for yourself, but it is the most critical. Why? Because if you don't take care of yourself, if you don't do regular self-care practices, you get hardened, you gain resentment to your relationship, you gain resentment toward dating, and and then it just defeats the whole purpose of even dating because you become bitchy, you become, uh, again, like I said, resentful. So self-care is actually the number one ingredient to creating a healthy relationship and maintaining it. I know for me, when I am spending hours upon hours behind my computer at my desk and I burn the midnight oil and I'm pushing and going and working and achieving, then, and I let go and forget about self-care, that is when my relationship most suffers. I get hardened, I get resentful, I get bitchy, and I think this is true for many women. So my biggest advice is to get hotter, focus on yourself get silly, get frivolous, don't make it, you know, utilitarian. So it's not always, in fact, self-care is never folding laundry. You know, I I have my clients all the time be like, yeah, especially with young kids. Yeah, my, you know, I folded laundry and that felt so good. Yeah, folding laundry can feel good when, when you needed to fold the laundry and that was a task that you now don't have on your plate anymore. Good for you but it doesn't count as self-care. What counts as self-care is frivolous, quote unquote, by society, self 
care and self-attention that doesn't serve any other purpose. So a massage when you're not sore from something or you don't have an injury. You should go when you have an injury too or when you're sore, but not only when you're, you have an injury and when you're sore. Do you get what I'm saying? Go anyway, go regularly. Getting your nails done, it makes you maybe feel pretty. It makes you feel clean and, and um, polished. Do it regularly, I do. Um, if that's something that feels good for you, get facials. You know, I recently started getting kind of addicted to hair blowouts. Um, I normally have curly hair, but it just looks so good. And I just feel so polished with a blowout. And this is almost really frivolous. I mean, I can justify it if I needed to, that it's for work and I look better on camera and all of this stuff. But you know what? I just love having a blowout. It lasts me for days and I just, it gives me ease and it just makes me feel amazing. So do things like that for yourself. Spend money on yourself. You know, you are a value. And if you want a man to see you as valuable, you have got to treat yourself as if you are valuable, which you are. But if you don't believe that quite yet, fake it till you make it. If you liked this video, hit the thumbs up button and definitely subscribe to my channel because I put out a video twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays with all kinds of this kind of material for you to better your life, feel better and attract better things into your life, including high quality men. Yeah. And I give lots of dating tips and um, all kinds of life hacks. So. Also find me on Instagram at barbara.santin and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.